Hello everyone, my name is Chen Yu. I'm a second year PhD student of SketchX Lab, Humari University of London. Here are authors of our paper. Let me start from a problem I made in my daily life. One day I walked on the street with my friend Bob, and we saw a lady who is wearing a really nice pair of shoes. I like that shoe, and I want to know more about it. Obviously, it was implied to ask a stranger, where did you buy your shoes? Not to take a picture without her permission. So the only choice for me is to search it online using text. Here is a shoe which I want to search. As we all know, the traditional, most widely used image retrieval method is based on text, which requires users to describe the, sh the image they want to search. So here's my description. A sandal with open toe, medium heel, and lace. I also asked Bob to describe that shoe. A little shoe, that's all. <laughs> OK, let's see the results when I type the description in Google Image. Well, my shoe is not on the first page. Not the second. Not the third. And Bob also tried to help. Thanks, Bob. So how could I find that shoe rather than any shoes? I think some of you may make similar problem as mine. In some cases, especially when we do online shopping, like shoes, handbags, chairs, we have a clear idea about the image we want to search, but we don't know how to describe them. And most of the times, we don't have similar photo to hand to do the photo-based image retrieval. So what could we do? We propose fine-grained instance-level image retrieval using Sketch. Imagine that if we can sketch the object directly on our phone or tablets and use the Sketch to do image retrieval, it would become much easier because a Sketch speaks for 100 words. Compared with textual description, Sketch is more intuitive for humans because people can capture and indicate the fine details in their sketch, like the position and shape of the decorations, the height of the hill, etc. Here are sketches drawn by myself and Bob. As you can see, even for different persons, people can, the characters they captured are quite similar. Let's see the result when we use the sketch to do retrieval. Here is our results using my sketch. And how about Bob's sketch? I still found that shoe. Being able to retrieve our image using sketch is not new. However, the key difference is that for the first time, we focus on fine-grained instance-level SBRR. If you attend the CGRAPH 16th next month, you may find uh, another concurrent work from Georgia Tech which does the similar work. The sketch we study here is human freehand sketch. It is different with edge maps and also different with professional sketch. Because people have different drawing ability and drawing styles, and there's no reference when people join the sketch. So this kind of sketch often exhibits highly deformation and abstraction. So in our research, we need to overcome the following changes. First, as I just mentioned, sketch is highly abstract. And second, photo has colors, while sketch only contains the white background and black lines. Thus, there's a big domain gap between the two types of images. These are changes shared by all SBR work. However, for fine-grained instance-level SBRR, it becomes more challenging because it must capture the fine-grained uh, details of the sketch and the gallery images. <coughs> Take the left sketch as an example. For fine-grained instance-level SBRR, it is not to distinguish the shoes from other categories, but to distinguish that shoe from other shoes. And for our study, there's another big challenge, is there's no existing dataset to use. So we first need to collect the dataset. In our work, there are two main contributions. 
First, we contribute two new fine-grained SBR datasets with extensive human ground truth annotation. And second, uh, we propose two methods to solve the data sparsity problem, staged pre-training strategy, and sketch specific data augmentation methods. Let me briefly introduce the process of collecting our new dataset. The first step is to collect photo and sketch images. Our dataset contains two categories, shoes and chairs. We select a subset of shoe photos from Texas Staples shoe dataset. And we collect chair photos from three online shopping websites, Akea, Amazon, and Taobao. After this step, we recruited volunteers to draw sketches for each photo by recall. That means for each photo in our dataset, there's one exact corresponding sketch. Here are some examples. In order to better capture and learn the fine-grained differences between sketch and photo, we also ask volunteers to do similarity annotation. It is hard to do an exhaustively overall ranking for each query sketch. But it will become much easier to do compare between two, shoots, two photos. That's our idea is to select the most similar photos for each sketch and then do comparison among them. We collected attribute annotation first in order to help find the candid photos. Then we combined the attributes and deep feature to select 10 candid photos for each sketch. For any two of the candidates, Volunteer need to compare and indicate which one is more similar with the required sketch. After this step, we collect over 30,000 triplet tuple annotations. Next, I will introduce the methodology. Our goal is to learn a feature space where the distance between the required sketch and candid photo can be used as a similarity score. And we applied convolutional neural network and this triplet loss to realize the mapping. We formulate a triplet ranking model and it accepts the triplet tuples as input. Specifically, we use Siamese network, which means the three branches all use the same network and they share parameters during training. For the single branch, we applied improved version of SketchNight. It is a deep network achieving the state-of-the-art performance in sketch recognition, which we designed before. Also, we collect new sketch dataset. Data sparsity is still a big problem when we train our model. So we try to solve this problem by introducing two methods. The first is staged pre-training. We divided our training process into two stages. The first is to train a single branch, second to train a triplet ranking model. And each stage contains two steps, pre-training and fine-tuning. For single branch, we first pre-train the sketch night on ImageNet 1000 dataset. Then we fine-tune it until Berlin sketch dataset. However, compared with ImageNet 1000 dataset, Tio Berlin sketch dataset is much smaller. So, apart from traditional data augmentation methods like rotation, flipping, we introduced two novel sketch-specific data augmentation methods which to enlarge the volume of training data, which is also the second method we proposed to solve data sparsity problem. The first is stroke removal. Different with photos, sketch can be treated as an ordered list of strokes. The idea of stroke removal is to simulate sketches at different abstraction levels through removing strokes. The question is, which strokes should be removed? We combined the stroke sequence information and the length information to decide the removal possibility of each stroke. Here is an example. From left to right, it displays the sketches after removing different percentage of strokes. Another data augmentation method is stroke deformation. Because people have different drawing styles, thus the same object may exhibit different appearance in different sketches. We simulate sketches with various drawing styles 
by deforming each stroke individually. Specifically, we modeled each stroke using Bezier curve and deform it by moving the control points. The right line indicates the de new deformed sketch, while the black line represents the original one. So introducing these two sketch-specific data augmentation methods, we enlarged our training data by 12 times, and thus helped us to train a better single branch. And next is to train our triplet ranking model. As I introduced before, our new collected dataset has over 30,000 triplet ranking annotations. However, it is still far from enough to train a triplet ranking model from scratch. So we first train it on category level sketch photo pairs. We, categories, categor, uh, we collect category level sketch photo pairs from 187 categories which exist in both ImageNet 1000 and the TO Berlin sketch dataset. And finally, we fine tuned the triplet ranking model in our fine grained SBR dataset. I will show the contribution of each step later. Let's see the performance of accuracy at top one of different methods tested on our new collected dataset. We first compare our model with two baselines which use handcraft features. And then we compare with another two baselines which applies deep features. One is extracted from improved sketch night, and the other is extracted from sketch base 3D shape retrieval model. And the, the original bar shows the performance of our proposed method. And this chart shows the performance of accuracy at top 10 on should set. This table shows the contribution of each component or step in our model. And through comparing these two, we can say the contribution of sketch-specific data augmentation methods we propose when fine-tuning our single branch. And through comparing these two, we can say the improvement brought by pre-training strategy. And you could find more details in our paper. And these slides show the retrieval results of different methods. The bottom row is the result of our proposed method. To better demonstrate the commercial value of our system, we have developed a demo website where shoes, chairs, and handbags from commercial brands such as Clarks, IKEA, are indexed. If you want to know more about our work, you could find our poster this afternoon. And we also have a demo tomorrow afternoon. Please visit our demo, and we are looking forward to show you more fancy works.